special guys. I'm here with my beautiful <laughs> girlfriend. And um, we are at the gravel pile here. Been here multiple times. Found some random stuff here. Maybe agates, probably not. But this guy right here definitely is an agate. I can't clean him off, but he's a, that's gotta be my biggest agate, the heaviest agate I've found. And yeah, I can't wait to get him cleaned off. So we're gonna be hunting this for a couple more minutes probably, looking around a little bit. And then we're gonna be going to a gravel road because it just rained heavily and it all got cleaned off. And I'm sorry about the wind, but we can't do anything about that. So take the camera back out if I find anything. Just found this piece here. Not sure if it's agate, but it is super interesting. Just a disclaimer here, there is some rock licking in this video, but I'm gonna try to make sure that this is the last video that happens and I'm gonna get a spray bottle finally. So you're welcome, everybody. Also, the wind was so bad today that no audio could be picked up. So I'm just gonna play some music for this hunt and obviously show you guys everything after. So I hope you guys enjoy. All right guys, so we're back home and we're just gonna be looking at these little ones really quick, get them out of the way. There's nothing too special about them. But I did find some really nice stuff today and I'm super happy about that. This one right here has some pretty nice bands. Pretty sure Tori found that one for me. It's a nice one. This piece right here, nothing too special. It's got some kind of, or some pretty cool bands in it. This one has really nice bands, and I like the cords on top, and the bands run all the way around it. It's super cool. This one is awesome, though. Uh, it's a paint agate. It's got some really nice bands, and it has that little almost geo. It's almost a geode, I think, and I can't tell if that's amethyst or if it's just dirty. That one's a really cool piece, too, just because it's super transparent in the whiter spots. This one's pretty cool as well. I don't think it's an agate though. This piece here, also I don't know if it's an agate, but it is kind of unique. It almost does look like there's banding in it though, but it's kind of hard to tell. This piece here has some pretty nice bands in it. Decent size too, it's a pretty nice find. This piece here has some really nice banding in it too. It's pretty faint though, it's kind of hard to tell. This, I don't know if this is an agate or not. Uh, I don't know if there's bands anywhere, but 
I think there is calcidney in it, which is kind of cool. This is just a giant chunk of calcidney. Um, super dark and it's pretty cool. It's really milky in some spots and I like that a lot. This piece is just a node. It's kind of nice. It's got some unique uh, like formations on it. This piece here is just a really pretty water level banded agate. And I like how it's kind of cut off diagonally and it goes all the way around. This piece here has some nice bands in it with a little quartz pocket. And I thought that was kind of cool. This piece, not quite sure if it's an agate, but it's kind of cool anyways. This almost doesn't look like an agate, but when you put it under a light, it is transparent or translucent. And I think it's a node. This piece right here is super cool. All the water level banding in it. That's probably the biggest piece that I have that's water level banded. Super cool, it has like the iron oxidization on the outside and yeah, really like this piece a lot. Tori found me this one too. This piece here, I'm not actually quite sure if it's an agate. It almost does look like there's banding in it, but it's kind of hard to tell. It is a really cool piece though and I'm, I'm hoping it's agate because it's really unique. This piece here, this is actually a really cool piece. I've never found one of these, but it's a node that's in a host rock. That bottom part is the host rock and the top part is the node. And it's just kind of cool if you put it under a light. This piece here is probably one of the finds of the day besides the big guy. I like the red band that runs through the quartz. I thought that was pretty cool and unique. This piece here is really cool. I love the transparency and the white banding and it's just a unique piece. It's super thin, but super cool. It almost looks like it could be like a pendant and I just like the shape of it and the bands are really nice. This guy right here is awesome. This is the biggest egg I've ever found has some really nice bands running through it and like a little eye in the middle kind of and yeah this guy he's just crazy only has the bands on the one side but that's okay the thing it's it weighs more than any of my other agates and it's bigger surface area than any of my other agates so definitely the find of the day and one of my better agates actually well guys that's going to conclude the video i hope you enjoyed Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.